Now let's look at an easy and an interesting method to find the squares. The prerequisite here is if you know squares of numbers up to 25, you can easily extend it up to from 25 to 75, then 75 to 125 like that. So within the next two, three minutes, all of you will be knowing all the squares of numbers at least up to 100 and without even memorizing it, without even practicing it. So let's see that interesting method. So assuming that you know squares of numbers up to 25, how do we extend it from 25 to 75? Method is very simple. Listen carefully. So to find squares of numbers between 25 and 75, let's take an example here. If you want to find out, let's say 41 square, what is that we are supposed to do? So to find 41 square, method is as easy as this. Two very simple steps. First step is take the difference from 25 and write as the first two digits, that's 16. Then take the difference from 50, which is 9, and square of that you write as the last two digits, which is 81. So it's, it's simple, right? You can do it in seconds. 16, 81 will be 41. 41 square will be 16, 81. Now, you can do it really fast, but now let me help you understand what this method is all about, right? So that all of you get it completely. That is, to show this once more, find 41 square, take the difference from 25, take the difference from 25, that is 41 minus 25. So we get 16. 16 you write as the first two digits. Now, take the difference from 50, which is 50 minus 41 or 41 minus 50, it doesn't matter. 50 minus 41, you get 9. Square of that particular number, what is 9 square? 81, right as the last two digits. So, if you just look at it itself, you will understand the method. Very simple, once more. First step is, take the difference from 25, which is 16 here. When I say difference from 25, you just simply take 41 minus 25. So, you get 16 as the first two digits. Then take the difference from 50, which is 50 minus 41 equal to 9 square of that number. What is 9 square? So that is a prerequisite, right? You should be knowing squares of numbers up to 25. If you, you can easily find squares of numbers up to 100 and you don't need to memorize at all. So 9 square, you get 81. That will be the last two digits. So you will understand this with one more example. Let me take one more number here. To find 43 square, what we need to do is take the difference from 25, that is 43 minus 25. So you get 18 as the first two digits. Then take the difference from 50. Now what is the difference from 50? 50 minus 43 is 7. You take square of that. So you get 49 as the last two digits. So what is 43 square? 18, 49. Very simple, right? This is the easiest method for writing down squares and using which I am sure by this time one, if you understand this method, all of you know all the squares of numbers up to 75 square. By extending this method, one more example if you want to see. To find 54 square, take the difference from 25, that is 54 minus 25. We get 29 as the first two digits. Then take the difference from 50, which is 54 minus 50. So you get 4. Square of that, you write the last two digits as 16. So 29, 16. 54 square is 29, 16. Very simple, right? Method is easy and interesting. Now, one more number, if you want to, to find 62 square, what we need to do? First step is 62 minus 25. So we'll get 37 as the first two digits. Second step is take the difference from 50 and square of that. Now what is the difference from 50? 62 minus 50 as you can see here is 12. 12 square is 144. Now in this approach, you should only write the last two digits. So you'll write only 44. Whatever is remaining that extra digit, which is the first digit, one will be a carryover you will add it to the previous digit, which is 7 plus 1. So the answer will be 3844. Once more, what we are doing is, first step is difference from 25. So that is 37. Second step is, 
take the difference from 50, which is 12. So 12 square is 144, out of which we'll write only the last two digits. The extra digit or the first digit will be a carryover and I will you will add it to the previous digit. Now what is the previous digit here? 37. So the digit here is 7. So 7 plus 1, 8 you will make. So the answer will be 3844. I hope all of you clearly understood this method. Now if you think about it, this method is actually based on multiples of 25. We are actually taking the difference from multiples of 25. First step is taking the difference from 25. Second step is taking the difference from 50 and square of that. Now to extend this further, so the previous method is where which we can use between 25 and 75. Now to use this a similar method with, between 75 and 125, in, in fact it's even faster, here we will deal with the multiple of 25, something which is even faster because we'll, we can take 100 here. So how do we use that method, right? To find squares of numbers between 75 and 125, let's take an example, find 106 square. To find 106 square, this is the method. First step is take the difference from 100, that is 106 minus 100 equal to plus 6. So add this number, since it's plus 6, add 6 to 106. That is 106 plus 6, you get the first three digits as 112. Second step is take the same difference, that is 106 minus 100 is 6. But take the square of that as in the previous method. So you'll get 36. 6 square is 36 and that will be the last two digits of the square. So what's the answer here? 112 will be the first three digits. 36 will be the last two digits. How we are getting the first three digits? Once more, take the difference from 100. So 106 minus 100 is plus 6. So that means uh, 10 and then you need to actually do 106 plus 6. So you get 112. So this difference you added to the number itself. 6 you added to 106, so you get 112 as the first three digits. Now take the difference of the same square, so take the square of the same difference, which is 6 square, write the last two digits as 36. I should give you one or two more examples so that it's very clear to all of you. Let's take 108 square. How do we find 108 square? Very easy. Take the difference from 100, which is 108 minus 100 is equal to plus 8. So add it to the number itself. 108 plus 8 is 116 will be the first three digits. Now, same difference which is 8, square of that will be the last two digits, which is 64. So what is 108 square? 116, 64. 